All right, welcome back. In the previous step, we learned how we can uh, set up uh, the settings up related to the WebGL, and after that, uh, how we can set up uh, the plugin of Universal AR into our into our uh, Unity project, and also how we can instance a 3D model into the real space without marker. I propose to uh, watch the step zero if you are new in this course and uh, you need to know the essential points of how we can set up the project uh, with the universal AR plugin because this step is gonna be the next step of uh, step zero. Okay. Let's continue this, our sample scene. I just disabled the instance tracking object because at this time I want to use my photo with my dear cat, uh, Tom. And I want to use this photo as a trigger uh, of my application, uh, augmented reality application. Okay, first I made a simple empty folder which called streaming assets remember without this guy it won't work first add this uh, streaming assets without a space a streaming assets okay into your project folder after that we should come over here and select image tracking target and you will see a simple uh, zapper image tracking target over here and it has this component but look at this no zpt file found and orientation uh, it, it doesn't have any uh, image target but how we can use this uh, photo as an image target of our application we should come over here zapper editor and open image trainer and in here uh, in this panel just select this guy and select my photo okay Remember, you should check on add image preview. By default, it is check on. Let's keep it. Don't change these options and click on start. It tried to convert your photo uh, to the list of pixels and be able to process for augmented reality with the format of ZPT. Look at this finish training. And here you can close this panel and if we refresh you will see inside the streaming assets you have this guy me and Tom ZPT it is the name of my uh, photo now if you click on this guy zapper image tracking you will see that your target texture appears as a 3d ob uh, 2d object preview object look at this inside this guy and you will see the list of targets of your project. If you add more targets, you can define, for example, Zapper image tracking uh, target one with the texture one, two with texture two, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, now uh, we can change the orientation of our uh, target as well with flat or vertical. It can be anything. And also, in unseen event and unnot seen event with these functions you can define a, a specific uh, you can call a specific uh, functions from your script uh, via these events this guy it means when you track it this image what you gonna do okay and this guy is for when you didn't track this photo what will happen for example let's create a simple c sharp script i want to call it um, image tracking functions okay and let's come over here uh, we will see uh, Uh, public uh, for example um, 
integer number okay and I will say public void uh, target scene uh, let's add a number equals random dot range that for example it can be 100 okay and if not seen it can be equals uh, zero make sense okay now we can understand if we see and detect that our image target let's call this function if we don't detect our function let's call this function and we will review the name the number equals zero and finally we have public uh, text mesh uh, txt okay and here we'll say txt dot text equals uh, plus number um, it can be something like this and the same for here all right let's go to our project and I will add this uh, zapper camera this component okay and I will add a simple 3d text mesh from legacy text mesh I will make it font 0 uh, 500 and middle and make it smaller Okay, and it will be like this. And here is a return to this guy. Okay, and finally, a zapper image tracking target, an unseen event, drag and drop zapper camera to this guy, and into the image tracking functions, we will say target scene okay and for this guy not seen we will uh, repeat the same steps but target not seen all right even we can add our 3d model as a you know asset or you know object as a child of this marker look at this for example something like this and I have this loop uh, animation and this is loop okay and I will add this material into this guy uh, I will share the link of this uh, beautiful free cat in the description of this video you can use this uh, 3d model for your project okay so what will happen after we target uh, we detect this image uh, it tried to call that function of making random name random number between 0 until 100 and print it at that uh, text and if we don't find that object try to make this number equals 0 all right we save our scene and go to the zapper editor and uh, select this guy update project settings to publish and here it's done down update editor related project settings okay and now uh, go to the build, uh, build settings and make sure it is selected webgl build and zapper test and select okay now we export our scene for WebGL and try to make it ready uh, for uh, uploading on our dashboard 
Okay, come on. I just, honestly, it is uh, slower than the last one. The last one was faster, <laughs> Bec maybe because of uh, our Neo assets and our Neo functions. It's trying to compile all of them, but okay, we will see. Uh, it takes time, but maybe faster, maybe a slower. And now... Alright. After that, we should come over here into the our dashboard. Uh, we have the previous one. And now we should make it ready for the new one. Uh, we should select on uh, upload and publish and over here we should select another version name for our new version. Uh, for example the previous version it was 0 1.0.0 .0 .0, okay but at this time we should select another name okay so we will select 0 0.1.0 .0, okay now we should still wait for this guy. It took time. Why? <laughs> okay. All right. It's finally done. After that, uh, as far as I mentioned in the previous step, we should uh, make a zip file of these uh, objects. Okay, now look at this. It is Zapper test. Go over here and drag and drop this guy into here and upload and publish. Success. Your trigger will now be ready to use. Okay, let's go to the mobile browser to test it in the real condition. Now we are in our mobile camera and and detect this QR code. Let's go to the browser and look at this. We don't have anything uh, on our screen, but if I open this image and we detect this image, look at this. It worked. This is the number, random number, and this is our animated cat. And if I take a look at this part, and come back again, it has been changed to 23, an animated cat. Again, the number zero, look at this, number is equals zero. And now it is 96. Again, 76, 12, 46, perfect. Our function works, our 3D animated plays and now we can do whatever we want with this technique. Perfect! Let's go to the next step.